Well, friends, guess what? We're gonna go uh, spend some time with some of my friends at the John Ball Zoo. It's time for, we're going to the zoo. We're going to the zoo with all our friends and when we're there, we're gonna see a Wallaby. Hi, Tom. Hi, how are you? Oh, good, man, we're here with wallabies. That's so cool, will you tell us what is a wallaby? Yeah, so a wallaby is um, a marsupial uh, native to uh, Australia. Wow, and tell us, um, what do they like to do? So wallabies uh, like to exist in groups, we call them mobs, uh, and they forage on plant material. Wow, what does that mean to forage? So forage basically means to find and eat. Oh yeah, I like to find and eat. Wow, what do wallabies like to eat the most? So wallabies like to eat almost any leafy vegetation that you'll find out there. So, uh, so they'll eat, like here at the zoo, they'll eat hay, uh, they'll eat what we call browse, which is um, trees that are edible, cut Whoa. branches will offer them. Okay. I don't know if I would like the flavor of that. Would <laughs> it you? might be bitter to you and I, but, yeah, but, but they wall seem to like it. Wallabies love it. Man, and so moms, how do the moms take care of their babies? So uh, a wallaby being a marsupial, uh, they actually have uh, a pouch in their belly, uh, and they take care of their babies by allowing them to um, basically hang out in that pouch. That offers uh, the baby a little bit of protection, warmth, uh, and uh, e even a place to nurse. Wow. Um, and then as the baby gets older, the baby can go in and out of the pouch uh, as it grows. Um, bigger uh, wallaby babies will spend a little more time out of the pouch. Uh, they'll learn to forage just like mom, uh, but when they're feeling a little insecure, <clears throat> they will uh, hop back in the pouch. That's amazing. How big is the pouch? Like just big enough to fit or can you fit like a whole family down there? Well, a typical uh, wallaby pouch, most of the time it'll fit one uh, joey and a joey is the term we call a baby wallaby. Okay. Um, sometimes they'll fit two in there um, depending on the size of the joey. Wow. How many joys are born at one time? Is it typically one or sometimes more? So it's typically one, um, but a mom can have a joy uh, developing inside her. Uh, she can also have a joy in the pouch, and she might also be taking care of a joy that has just left the pouch. Wow. Wow. How many babies does one um, wallaby typically have in a lifetime? So it can vary. Um, but um, a mom wallaby could probably have up to three joys of a year. Uh, average lifespan is about eight to nine, Whoa. so they could have quite a few, maybe up to 30 joys in their life. 30 lifetime. joys! So. Wow! Would they all be named Joey? It'd be like, hey, Joey and Joey, come on, Joey. If I've told you once, Joey, <laughs> Joey! <laughs> or do they have different names? Or do they don't, they don't use words, do they? No, they don't use words, but um, the joy recognizes its mom's <gasps> call and um, it knows when to return to mom. Tom, who is this right next to us? So this is Jackie. This is a wallaby. She was Joey last year that we hand raised. Whoa. Joey, look, it, what was the name? Her name's Jackie. Jackie. Jackie is so soft. Looks so soft. And, Ooh, who's coming and, uh, up behind Jackie? The other wallaby behind her is Jack, and Jack is uh, Jackie's dad. Oh. So, Jackie, yep. Oh, oh my there goodness. She goes. <laughs> what? This is amazing. Yeah, both Jack and Jackie are a little, they have, they're curious about things, so. Wow. Hi, Jack. It's nice to meet you. And he's, he's dad to a couple wallabies that we have here, so. Hi. He seems to like you. Thanks for letting us visit. Well, Tom, thank you so very much for sharing all this wonderful information about wallabies. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're welcome. It was good talking to you. Yeah, whoo. I'm gonna go keep exploring. We. Going to the zoo with all our friends And when we're there, we're gonna see a Wallaby! <laughs> that is so amazing! Wow, that's so beautiful when I got that chance to be so close to that wallaby. Be sure to subscribe and get notified for all our new videos.